What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Dragon Ball Legends. I really do hope you're all doing well. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. As always, it really does help out the channel. You see we did get that Youth Trunks to 5 star. Now also this Vegeta right here, we did get to 7 star. Definitely let me know in the comments below if he's worth Zenkai Awakening. Just from my research, I think he would be a really good bench unit. Meaning that he's not one of the main characters that you use in a fight. But um, his blast damage is really good, and I can definitely see him on a Saiyan team or a purple team. But um, in terms of other characters, I do want to show you my extremes and my sparking characters and show you what lineups that I could potentially run. Definitely feel free to comment down below so I can get more ideas for myself and make more content for you guys based on the lineups um, that you guys think would actually work. Now you see, obviously we have a decent amount of Saiyans, so we can obviously get a Saiyan team. We have that Android team. We might be able to get a, a boo team going, but still in the works. See a couple other characters here. We ha probably have some for Sun Family. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We have some Frieza Force as well, but they're not as strong. Those are all the characters I'm um, rocking with right now. Definitely let me know who, who should I primarily focus on. I definitely take all your guys' feedback uh, greatly. Now we do have some more summons I do want to do. And then after the summons, we'll probably hop into one PvP fight. So this summon should be actually be pretty good. Um, usually when we get like a Super Saiyan Vegeta, it should definitely be a sparking type unit, which is a really good sign. You know, we're not getting any hero units from that. I know there's a high chance of getting heroes. We're probably going to get like eight or nine heroes just from the summon. Um, but basically the heroes are mainly support characters or support your main hitters, unless it's like Shalot or Shalot however you guys pronounce it we do get another golden frieza um haven't been using him as much just because yeah we could use him with cooler and a few other frieza characters but again i just don't know if the synergy is there and definitely let me know what the meta is looking like in, like during this season um i know androids are really popular sun family future saiyan all really popular um, but yeah, I know a lot more characters are coming out, especially with this Thousand Day Celebration and the banner that they just had was Boo. So they could be Zenkai Awakening a few other characters like that green Super Saiyan 3 we got, which is pretty interesting. I might be focus on, focusing on upgrading him a little bit more, maybe getting him to 700%, but we do need to star him up more in order to Zenkai. So we're doing another summon. We just get Turles right there and let's see who else we get in this next summon. But yeah, honestly, it's been a grind. Just been farming up more of the trunks. And we get Mai right here, which is really cool. Sparking unit as well. So we can look, I don't really know too much about her. We can look into her. She's a support type, so I don't expect her skills to be as high. She boosts future. Also, she increases key and also arts draw. Increasing also attack for allies when she switches standby and also a bonus 10% if you have trunks in the lineup as well So now that makes me think we might be able to use that youth trunks and my together and then with another character making that youth trunks really strong um, Again, I could be totally wrong, but definitely let me know in the comments below if that makes sense um, I know that youth trunks can actually be really strong especially when it gets to like 1400% so if we have a decent my in there just be basically increasing the damage he does would be really good for us and yeah so right now we're gonna stick with the android lineup we have and then once we get more of our saiyan characters up we can have another saiyan lineup which is really nice now i'm gonna probably end it off right here of the, at least of the summoning with this master pack three we got a guaranteed sparking so this should be really good there's general tau uh flying by so i hope we get someone that is probably legends limited i'm really hoping for that don't even know if it's probably accessible i should have checked the featured character list but no matter who we get if it is a sparking it is going to help out our lineup and we get broly nice so i think we already have this one so this should star him up yep so we got this broly to six star this is the green broly if i'm not mistaken and i believe it boosts his let's see sagas from the, uh from the movies Basically, strike and blast defense up, which is pretty decent, and especially when it's strike and defense. So when it's like more than when it's like two categories boosted up, it's actually really good. So I'm actually excited about that. Don't use Broly too much, but might be able to look into that now. I definitely want to farm up more of the 
uh, Radis, Nappa, Vegeta, Frieza, etc. All those characters that are free, I definitely want to grind them up and try and get them to 5 or 6 star. But I'm just focusing mainly on the Gogeta and the Trunks just because those are time sensitive and they're only here for like a week. But this is the Android lineup we're going to rock with. I probably will go with the Red Cell, obviously, Android 21, and then uh, Green Cell as well. Um, yeah, so basically just having those Android 17s, uh, Android 17 and 13 support the Red Cell. It's basically why I have them on the bench. And then this lineup looks like it's either like a future or a Saiyan lineup. So this should be pretty interesting. It does have Gate Samasu to start. We do have type disadvantage for the the green cell, which is gonna hurt us a little bit. But I definitely don't want to drop this cell right now, so I might be switching out pretty soon, which I do. To the Android 21. Now, let's see, Android 21 is actually really good. You see all those debuffs on the Gate Samasu? I believe that is from her. So we get a nice vanish there. We're gonna do our green card. And he switches. I think I was too far away. Uh, nice little vanish from him. So now I should have switched out. I didn't. I forgot to notice the type disadvantage. So we were taking a lot of damage right there, unfortunately. But our green cell is going to have to carry a little bit. And we get a rising rush. Hopefully he doesn't dodge. And we get it in time. Now I'm going to go strike. Just because I am pretty much he's assuming he's going to go blast. So we do get it right. So this is pretty good. This should take out the Android 21. I know that character can obviously be very annoying, especially when she transforms and stuff. But uh, that's good. So it's two on two right now. And we're both healing up. So we blow right past that. We get some uh, health back. And I do want to switch to the red cell as much as we can, just because of type disadvantage. Definitely don't want to keep your characters in there too, too long. At least what I'm noticing. Um, but we're gonna get the green card popped off right now. Just waiting for him to do that. So we vanish. Now they should take out. He's got these muscles, but he does switch in time. So we're gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage. Mind you, our cell has not even died yet. So he's gonna come back to life whether he does die or not. Um, what I'm debating of doing is just switching back to the green cell. Let him be fodder. And, uh, at least once we take out this, uh, Vegito here. And then, uh, yeah, just have Cell come back to life and really have no worries. And then also at the end of the video, I will be leaving my friend code for you guys to add me. And we can do, like, friendly battles and all like that. And, yeah, just uh, have a good community here. So we did get KO'd um, with that green Cell. But this should be more than enough to finish this opponent, at least I think, if you play it right. So, again, Cell hasn't even died. Now, I should have just went for the Blast right there. I don't know why I clicked the green card. Um, that cost us right here, so now we're just gonna have to sit and idle. I'm just waiting for him to do something, and I couldn't vanish because I did click one of the cards. So I did try and rising rush right there, which is pretty bad misplay. But luckily, we do get the cell to come back to life, and I hope we don't botch it now. So we do have a lot of blast cards, and we should finish up the fight right here. So good little training fight right there. I believe we get some rewards along the way. We can't hop into main PvP yet because we have to clear some more of the story. But I really do hope you all enjoy the content. Again, I'm going to leave my friend code. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm out. Later.